Come here, crazy dog. Give me nose. Yeah, nose. What's going on, everybody? It's Matt with American Ford WD. Hope you're having an awesome day. This is JC. This is our new shop dog. Say hi, JC. JC says no. Hi, Sarah. Say hi, Sarah. No. Okay. So, anywho, today we're doing a shop update because we haven't done one in, in a little bit. Uh, things have been kind of wild the last three weeks. It got slow, then really busy. Slow and really busy. Um, things in the world aren't uh, necessarily stable right this second. So, no worries there. We still have plenty to do. Brant's having a great time. Say hi, Brant. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. He's I'm working sweating. on... Yeah, he's sweating. He's got sweat all over. We are doing some custom doodads over there. Let's start off with Philip. Philip, we got your Rough Country long arm kit in stock. Finally, thank God. We've been waiting on this guy for a while, so hopefully this week we'll be able to put that on for you. We've got Noah's tires. We've got CBT spare tire here. We got another Dodge. The AC system blew up, so we're going to be doing some AC stuff to it. We already did some of it, but we got to do some more stuff to it. We've got Patrick's LJ that we did a two inch lift kit to. And now he is already driven at 500 miles, so we're doing a bolt check. So Chris just did that. This thing looks sweet. It's a Willys with the Rough Country two inch lift. Looking good. Looking good. He's got the turbo diesel too, so that's badass. Alrighty. So. We got Brand's Jeep here. We got Karen over there. We got John's WJ. We're going to be doing a complete overland build to that. So roof rack, rooftop tent, JK axle swap, long arm, uh, 35s, wheels, lights, whole bunch of other crazy mess. But of course, we need to do some maintenance because he just picked it up. So he doesn't really, we don't really know what all is going on there. So we need to do some maintenance first, get that in a good place. For some god awful reason, Bruce bought a YJ that's a mud truck. So we're going to be doing some stuff to this, all the YJ fans out there. Uh, this is pretty well and, uh, well, I'll just say, it's pretty beat to shit. So uh, we're going to be doing some stuff to this. So that'll be a fun little project. We're going to be doing a... Uh, custom triangulated four link. We're going to be doing a three link, uh, four nine inch axles, a uh, cage. Uh, it's already got a Ford 400 uh, V8 under the hood with some sort of transmission and I think a Dana 300 transfer case. So we're going to be just kind of screwing with that and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be playing with this guy for a while. So yeah. So currently it's got a. Dana 44 off of something in the front and then it's got like a super old school 60 in the rear so we're going to be junking those so guys if you're looking for a uh, uh, 44 or a old school 60 rock and roll you can have that um, school bus we got a lot of stuff done holy crap guys check this out Chris has been knocking it out making it look good oh first thing before I even get up on the bus. We are now street legal because we have tail lights. So Chris did an awesome job cutting it out, putting a custom holder in there. Looks good. So now we got tail lights back again. So now we can actually drive it down the road. Uh, if it'll start, which it probably won't, God. Uh, let's see what else. We got the pooper in there. We got it all bolted down. We got the whole cup. We're doing the plumbing on the pooper right now. We've got the shower in there. We got the hole cut out for the adjustment knob. And then we're gonna be doing some other, we gotta do the head up there. Uh, and then we got the plumbing run. Uh, I'm super proud of this cause I'm awesome or I'm not awesome. I'm an idiot, but, and I don't know squad about, you know, building houses or, or doing any of this contract work or like Home Depot stuff. But I made a table, it's pretty badass. Um, I made it about 20 minutes. So the table is pretty cool. So I've got the uh, pole leaning in. That way you don't kick it as you walk through. Um, and of course this is our bed. So when we pull out the bed, that can't be there. So what I did was you can fold it completely up. 
and you can put it on the hanger and boom, it gets tucked away. Isn't that freaking cool? I made that. I'm an idiot. Anywho, Brant and Chris been screwing with the, the countertops. We got the sink in here, which is kick ass looking good so this is from the uh, doorway when you come in so that looks really good so we got a lot of the plumbing done uh, we got the tanks in our I don't know if they're in yet I don't know Chris has been screwing with it all day let's go find out a doop doop do let's see if they're in there Oh yeah, they're in there. Okay, so this is a, uh, cool. So Chris has been, let me, better angle. Chris has been screwing with our plumbing, so that's our uh, black water right there. Got that all mounted up, looking good. And then we got, uh, we got fresh water, and then we got uh, gray water over there. So yeah, Chris has been knocking it out. He made these custom frames to hold them, so that's really cool. So awesome, awesome on Chris. Been really good good work okay so the bus has come a long long way let's see what else we've got kevin's jk in the house kevin's jk we are taking off his anti-rock which is up there the front anti-rock and he wants the factory rubicon disconnecting sway bar up there we're just waiting on the clamps and the bushings because the previous owner got rid of all that and you have to go through Chrysler to get the new one, so that was a fun little process. And then he wanted his ARB dual air compressor. Really. Underneath the passenger seat. So TerraFlex makes a awesome little kit that didn't necessarily work with the Corbos, so we made it work. But you can mount the dual ARB air compressor underneath the seat. And it'll have a cool little switch and then you can plug up your airline to it and air up all your tires so that was really cool so awesome sauce and this is the uh so we're gonna mount that kind of i don't know like uh like this or something and then you're gonna have your quick disconnect on it so something like this but yeah you'll have your dual arb air compressor underneath the seat so that's really cool brent's doing a good job uh it's coming together. yeah and that's the uh that's the airport and the uh, switch holder show me this Show me what you did. Looks pretty good. Now cool. To paint. Now to paint. Yes. All right. So we got some of Noah's stuff in here. Now, guys, this is a mess in here. So just kind of ignore it. We've been, things have been a little wild. Um, buddy, God bless. Where is Buddy? Where, where's Buddy? Uh, Brant, where's Buddy? Up, He's out back. We're over there. <laughs> He's under that truck. Buddy, shop dog, you're messy. Got your food everywhere. Anywho, so we got... <laughs> so we got uh, some of Noah's stuff. Um, so Noah's 35s, the uh, which are cool. I'm going to touch on those. I've never seen them before. I've never put them on. I've, I have no real-world reviews of these things. But check these out. These are Kumo Road Venture MT71s uh, and a 35. Uh, look at the trip pattern. That's pretty cool. Um, and then the, I mean, it's, it's not hard as a rock, but I mean, it's pretty soft. I'm quite curious. That's a, that's a Toyo, but I'm quite curious to see what these guys are going to do and how they're going to balance out. So that'll be cool. But anywho, Noah's other stuff that he got in is the uh, Poison Spider front bumper, same front bumper that I have on Karen. Uh, let's see. We got a locker. We got some wheel spacers because he's using the factory wheels. We got a flash cow. And then we got a worn winch. So all the fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun. We also got, uh, let's see what else. We also got Jeff's Wagoneer out back. We did a bunch of cool stuff to this. Uh, just maintenance stuff, really, honestly. It's not even really cool. But we did some maintenance stuff to her. So we took out the, uh, the leaf springs, had a crap load of leaves. So we took the uh, third leaf out of each pack. That way she rides a little bit better. Rides a little bit softer. Of course, the shock still needs some attention and all this other fun stuff. But before, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but before uh, 
you wouldn't even budge but now it budges so actually it'll ride pretty good now um, and then when he adds weight into it we'll probably put the springs back in and then we still got that out here dealing with that but otherwise we're having a good time we just got we just got done with a Toyota uh, Tacoma clutch so it's been busy it's been going it's been a going um update on Karen while we're here uh it's gonna be a long video gosh um oh hell I can't remember what we did um <laughs> everything works everything's good everything's awesome the only thing that we had to do is these shocks are just a wee bit too long so uh these are not progressive coil springs which i could go get some progressive coil springs but uh that's kind of pointless when i got some tube in the uh, shop and a welding machine so what i did was i created a spring spring retainer so pretty much it's just a tube i don't know if i can get a good shot of this uh, maybe not but essentially this guy is what i welded in there of course this doesn't exist it's pretty much up here it's just a kind of a round baffled surface so if this so if the shocks are so long that it lets all the tension off this spring this spring you can grab it and kind of do anything with it and as long as it stays in this cup then you're okay but for the most part they pretty much just fall out so I don't know if you ever seen videos of springs falling out of a vehicle but on JK's it can happen because they don't have anything to retain the spring damn it retain the spring so we cut these welded these guys in here so that way when I fully droop out in the rear and the spring loses all retention this top of the spring will come down to about here but it can't go anywhere because of this guy so that's cool so we did that to both sides instead of buying like a progressive coil spring or going with a smaller shock because of course we want as much down travel as possibly can because this because i want it to flex out like a beast so we did that and other than that that's guys that's just about all we've done so thanks for stopping by hope you guys like our videos like our content uh questions comments all that fun stuff uh this of course all of our stuff goes on youtube too so guys if you don't mind go in there even if you don't watch youtube just go in there and just hit the subscribe button that way youtube analytics it'll start popping it up constantly to other people and that just spreads content around spreads the love around we're here for you guys we're here to give you this uh, information this content here for you it's not we're not trying to gain popularity or money or anything like that hell I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I, I give you real world accounts, real world reviews, and you know anything that we do in here, we may find something that, or we may be doing something that you guys are doing to yours as well, and we have some information about it, or this is how we fixed it, or whatever. But it's all here for you guys. So guys, I appreciate it. We will see you later.